let's transform equations from standard form, ax plus by equals c, into y equals mx plus b form. First, we need to move the ax term by either adding or subtracting it from both sides. Second, we need to get the y alone, and we do this by multiplying or dividing by the b coefficient. Lastly, we're going to simplify anything that we need to in terms of fractions. So let's start with this example, 2x plus 4y equals 8. According to my first step, I need to move the ax term. In this case, this is the ax term, because this is in ax plus by equals c form. The 2x is positive, so should I add it or subtract it? That's right, I'm going to subtract it from both sides. Now what will happen is the 2x will cancel out, the 4y is alone, but now on this side I have the 8 and the negative 2x. Remember my goal is to get in y equals mx plus b form. So who should go first? The thing that's going to be the b value or the thing that's going to be the x term? We want that x term to be written right after the equal sign. So I'm going to put the negative 2x first. This 8 was positive, so I write plus 8. There's step 1. Step 2 says now we need to get the y alone by dividing by the b value. So that means I need to take the 4 and I need to divide it here and here and here. My third step says simplify everything. Well, the 4's cancel out and my y is alone. Negative 2 over 4. Well, a negative divided by a positive is a negative, but 2 over 4 reduces to 1 half, so I have negative 1 half x, and a positive 8 divided by 4 is a positive 2. And I'm done. We have just transformed the equation 2x plus 4y equals 8 into y equals negative 1 half x plus 2. Let's transform the equation 3x minus 5y equals 10 into y equals mx plus b form. So my first step is we need to move the 3x. Is the 3x positive or negative? That's right, it's positive. So should I add or subtract it? I should subtract it. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. Those cancel out. I have a negative 5y equal to now think logically, if I want to get this in y equals mx plus b form, which of the two terms needs to be written right after the equal sign? That's right, the negative 3x. And the 10 was positive, so in this case it's plus 10. My second step says I need to take this b value, the negative 5, and divide everything by the negative 5. The last thing I need to do is simplify. The negative 5's cancel out, and my y is alone. A negative over a negative is a positive. 3 over 5 does not reduce, so this is 3 fifths x. Positive 10 divided by negative 5 is a negative 2. And I have just transformed the equation into a y equals mx plus b form.